everyone. Welcome back to another Vapor Honing Technologies video. I'm Ryan and today we're going to discuss how to use the PSI to your advantage with wet blasting. Now, before we get into how to use the pressure to your advantage, it would make sense to understand what exactly this PSI or pressure you're supplying to your machine does. And its sole purpose is to accelerate the slurry that's coming into this blast gun. Now, in a vapor honing cabinet, the pump system that supplies the slurry to the gun is completely separate from the PSI or the pressure that you're supplying to this. Your air pressure is gonna come from your air compressor and the slurry system is gonna be inside of the hopper and that's an electric pump. On the blast gun, this lower inlet is where the slurry is introduced and this upper inlet is where your air is introduced. Now, with your vapor honing machine, there are two air requirements that you need to make certain that you are meeting, and that is your CFM and PSI requirements. CFM stands for cubic feet per minute, and that's actually the volume of air that's flowing through your lines, and then the PSI is pounds per square inch, and that's the pressure at which the air is that's being introduced into the blast gun. These measurements that are required for each machine can be found on the data tables listed on our website, but if you have any questions, you can always call us at 828-202-5563. So now that we understand exactly what the air does inside of a vapor honing machine, let's understand how you can use it to your advantage. For starters, if you increase the PSI being supplied to your machine or increase it on the regulator, you can actually speed up some stripping processes. The reason that this happens is that you're actually accelerating the slurry coming into your blast gun at a higher speed because you're putting more pressure behind it. Now, this can lead to a duller finish because you are hitting the part with more force, but that is one of the benefits of a vapor honing cabinet is because we are adding water into the system, it will not damage your parts. Speaking of damaging your parts, if you have a fragile part, it makes a lot of sense to turn the pressure down beforehand just so that you don't damage it and slowly increase it as you're working with the part and see what it can handle. Additionally, if you're trying to get a polished finish with something like a glass bead, you can actually turn the pressure down after you're blasting, or we've actually heard some people turn the pressure off and just allow the blast gun to pour the slurry over the part. I usually do this with a little bit of pressure, but you can get what's called a burnishing effect, and it actually brings that polish level up a bit more than what it would if you were blasting at pressure. One major thing that you do need to consider though with vapor blasting is the actual finish that you're trying to achieve because that's going to come down more to your abrasive choice than it is the pressure. With traditional sandblasting, I know that you can strip some parts with glass bead. That's not necessarily the case with vapor honing because we actually allow the abrasive to use its edge characteristics. Glass bead is just going to flow over the part and make that nice finish that we have. So you can't just increase the pressure like you can with sandblasting and your abrasive choice is much more important. Once you know the specific finish that you're trying to achieve and the material or metal that you're trying to do this on, you can actually call us and we will be more than happy to help you figure out what abrasive and pressures you need to be blasting at. If you guys have any questions regarding this video or actually any tips and tricks that you would like to share, please leave it in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. And if you would actually like to get one of these machines and take your surface finishing game to the next level, you can reach us at 828-202-5563 we'd be happy to hear from you. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing and also check out our other socials where we post great content just like this every day. Again, we hope you found this video useful and we hope to hear from you. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and peace.